with more and more people switching to electric vehicles, understanding the concept of EV charging is becoming increasingly important. In this video, we will explain the basics of electric vehicle charging. Throughout this video, we will talk about charging speeds, which is measured in kilowatts. There are several things that affect the charging speed, such as temperature, state of charge, and what charging rate the vehicle can accept. But in general, the higher the kilowatt, the faster you can charge. To understand how EV charging works and why different chargers can provide such different charging speeds, we need to understand the difference between AC and DC power. AC, or alternating current, is the electrical current supplied by power grids and is the standard form of electricity in households and commercial buildings. DC, or direct current, on the other hand, is used in many electronic devices, as well as in electric vehicles. Since a battery in the EV stores power as DC, the incoming AC current from the power grid has to be converted to DC before it can be stored in the battery. This can happen in two different ways. Either the conversion happens within the vehicle or outside of it. These two different methods are called AC and DC charging. Every EV has an onboard charger built into it that can convert power from AC to DC before feeding it into the vehicle battery. With AC charging, AC power is pushed into the car, converted to DC power by the onboard charger and delivered to the battery. The charging speed in AC charging usually ranges from 2.3 kilowatts to 22 kilowatts. But as it is using the onboard charger for power conversion, the charging rate can never exceed the limits of the onboard charger. Because of this, a 22 kilowatt charging station can still only charge at 11 kilowatts if that is the limit of the car's onboard charger. With DC charging, the conversion occurs in an external charging station, so that DC power is being pushed straight into the battery while bypassing the onboard charger. This allows for increased charging speeds of over 50 kilowatts. In some cases, DC charging can provide charging speeds as high as 400 kilowatts, but most EVs have set limits to what DC charging rate they can accept. Not all electric vehicles are able to charge this way, however. For example, most plug-in hybrids can currently only utilize AC charging. EV charging is split into four modes. Three of them use AC charging, while the fourth uses DC charging. Mode one was the most basic way of charging an EV, where you connected a cable between the household mains plug at one end and the vehicle at the other. This method did not provide any communication with the vehicle and has now been banned in many countries due to the safety risks involved, such as risk of electric shocks or fire. Safety can be increased by adding an EVSE, or more commonly called a charger, between the power outlet and the vehicle. This is called Mode 2 charging. Some Mode 2 chargers still use a regular household socket to charge, but this is not recommended as a permanent solution, as regular EV charging may wear out household sockets, as they are not made to withstand such high power over long periods of time. SeaTax Nord Go connects to the mains via a CEE socket instead, which allows for increased charging speeds of up to 11 kilowatts. Nordgo can either be attached to a wall to be used as a home charger or be brought with you wherever you go. The final charging mode using AC charging is called Mode 3. Mode 3 chargers are permanently connected to the electrical network and are usually pole mounted or attached to a wall. These chargers can normally be seen in private or public car parks as well as in home environments. CTEC series of ChargeStorm connected Mode 3 chargers offer a variety of charging speeds up to 22 kilowatts and can either have one or two charging points, allowing you to charge two cars simultaneously using the same charger. Mode 4 chargers deliver DC current directly to the vehicle battery, which allows for highly increased charging speeds. Mode 4 DC charging stations are often called fast chargers or rapid chargers and can be seen in public charging locations, often close to larger roads or highways. In this video, we have talked about charging speeds, AC and DC charging, and the different charging modes. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments below, or check out our website for more information. Thanks for watching.